How goes it everybody? In today's video, we're going to talk about laser tag and specifically why you should play mobile laser tag. Whoa, what do you mean mobile laser tag? I mean laser tag that is mobile. For instance, playing laser tag in your backyard. But doesn't that have to be played inside in the dark with a bunch of black lights? John? Yes, Wayne? Just hang on and I'll explain it all. All right guys, let's jump right into those reasons. So one of the first reasons that you're going to want to play laser tag is because laser tag encourages physical activity. It encourages you to move. Perhaps you're wanting to have a way to get either your kids or your employees moving and you know maybe they've been kind of hanging out in the office for too long or maybe they've been inside playing video games all day and now you want to give them a fun and exciting way to move around. In order to avoid being shot, and eliminated, you may need to hide behind some opticals, which is going to require some kneeling and getting down and up, you know, quite often. So without even realizing it, you're going to be adding cardio to your day and you're also going to be doing some exercises like, uh, like squats and kneeling all the time. Oh, that's great. But I don't want to have to play team deathmatch over and over and over. Perfect, because our Edge software allows us to customize up to 30 different types of games. Yes, you heard that right. 30 customizable games. So each of the games that we have are already pre-made. We have up to 30 different types of games, but each of those games can actually be customized specifically to your needs and how you would like to play your games. Uh, for instance, we have games like Domination, uh, Capture the Flag, Infection Mode, uh, King of the Hill, and so on. Uh, take a look at this list here and you can see all of the different games that we have. So think of battle coins like V-Bucks and Fortnite. What your guests can do is they can purchase these battle coins and then they can use those coins for in-game purchases such as a different type of weapon that may not be in the normal game mode. So maybe for instance in Team Deathmatch or a Domination Match, we only have like a single shooter weapon, right? Which is every single, you have to pull the trigger for every single shot. Uh, maybe they want a flamethrower in there as their weapon. Well, they can purchase the battle coins and they can use those to purchase that flamethrower so they can have that right from the get-go so they don't even have to wait to earn the weapon level up. <laughs> so hey John, which of these game types did you like the most? John. John, we need to work on our communication. Speaking of which, some of the games I previously just mentioned like Domination, Capture the Flag, those type of games are gonna actually require teamwork. Right, so rather than just team deathmatch, it's just two teams kind of eliminating each other. There's not a lot of strategy, you're just running around trying to shoot each other, right? Well, in Domination or Capture the Flag, there's an objective to the game. So for instance, in Domination, there is a capture zone. So we utilize the utility boxes that we have, and we're gonna set one of those utility boxes to the capture zone. The longer they hold that zone, the more points they're going to receive. And then by the end of the game, the team with the most points is the team that's going to win. So it doesn't matter if you are eliminating the other team the most, that isn't gonna determine who wins that particular game. The objective of the game is to capture the zone and hold it for as long as you can within the time limit. So that's going to require some strategy, it's going to require some communication, it's gonna uh, require some creative thinking, and so once they put all of those things into place, the team with the best strategy, the best accuracy, and the best communication are gonna be the team that's actually going to win in that case. All right guys, so another great reason that you should be doing laser tag, and more specifically mobile laser tag, or a backyard laser tag it's sometimes known as. The reason you should do that is it provides a more personalized experience. The difference between going to an indoor laser tag and having a backyard or a mobile laser tag, and specifically with our system using the Edge software is, as I mentioned previously, is the fact that we can customize each one of your games. Right, so that gives you a very personalized experience there already, but with a system like ours, we're using a backyard laser tag mobile system. We're gonna bring all of the equipment to you. We're gonna customize the games to your desires and your needs, but we're also going to give you a lot more time to play. So you may book us for an hour and a half or a two hour event. And based on my numbers, I've usually averaged about six games per hour 
Um, that's a low estimate, so sometimes it's more than that. But that's six games at five minute rounds, and you're going to get to play six games, right? So let's say you only have 12 of you there, right? We're playing six versus six, and there's 12 of you there. You can literally play nonstop for an hour and a half, two hours. Another nice feature that helps us personalize the experience for you is the fact that we're going to have a game coach there to help encourage gameplay, right? So if you're seeing somebody going out of bounds, or if they're seeing someone who's spawn camping, um, or if they're seeing that maybe you're, or maybe they're seeing that you're having trouble, you know, getting the idea of the game, they're going to help encourage you, instruct you how to play in the middle of the game as well, right? And sometimes they may even join in and have some fun with you. I know a few times that I've done parties, I've been able to join in the fun. Maybe they've had a person down on a team, so I'll join in and I'll help encourage my team and kind of show them and instruct them how to, you know, maybe make a strategy to go on a flank or this or that. Well, everything sounds amazing, but I don't know if I can afford that. So the thing that you would want to think about when it comes to pricing is factoring in the convenience of us coming to you and the cost per player that you're looking at. A two hour party with us costs $329. In that party, you can have an unlimited number of players if you want, but let's just say for example's sake that you have 18 players and we play six versus six. So that's three groups of six people. So 18 total players. If we take the $329 cost and divide that by 18 players, the cost would be roughly $18 per person. So let's estimate that we get 12 games in the two hours. So again, that may be a low estimate, but that's an estimate of six games per hour. And you have three groups. Each group should get to play roughly four times. So based on the research that I've done in our location, each game of laser tag costs roughly $7. Some of them have a couple deals where if you play two games, you know, that they discount that secondary price. One of them I saw, if you play two games, it was $7 for the first. If you play two games, it was $10. So let's just say they're playing four games that way, right? So now that's $20. So in that case, we're actually saving $2 per player. Now keep in mind too, one of the things that we're doing is we're making it very convenient for you. So we're going to actually come to your location. You don't have to worry about getting the kids in the car and taking them to a location or getting all of your employees and asking them to stay after work or this or that. We're gonna come to your office or we're going to come to your party location. Once you figure in the convenience factor and the cost per player factor, I think you'll see that either way you'll come out to being around the same price and you're actually not really paying any more and in some cases you may actually pay less by having a mobile laser tag party. So what do you think John? Are you ready to play? Let's do this! I'm gonna grab my friends!